Does my right honourable or honourable friend agree with me that the practice of puppy farming is a disgrace and will he do all he possibly can to yes. discourage pet shops yes. selling kittens and puppies? Yes. Well, my honourable friend has been a, a long-standing champion uh, on these issues. And I can tell you that I agree that irresponsible breeding and selling of dogs is absolutely uh, unacceptable, and we think the relevant authorities should clamp down on that. Um, I can point out anyone in the business uh, of breeding and selling dogs must have a valid licence from their local authority and also must abide by the Animal Welfare Act of 2006. When it comes to um, pet shops, um, dog breeding, many of these pet shops have already uh, stopped selling um, kittens and puppies. What I can say is that we've got a greater concern actually actually about the internet and internet sales of, of puppies, uh, which uh, welfare charities have pointed out to us. Uh, speaker, yesterday was the first anniversary of the death of 14-year-old Jade at Lomas Anderson by four dogs in my constituency. The new legislation is welcome, but doesn't solve the problem of dangerous dogs. So what further plans does he have uh, to protect our communities, to educate children and owners, tackle puppy farming, and prevent dogs becoming dangerous in the first place? Well, I would simply point out, I think one of the um, big challenges here is unless dogs are, are bred properly and socialised properly, then they can be violent when they uh, become adult dogs, and that's one of the problems. We have obviously, though, increased the sentences uh, for um, uh, attacks by dogs uh, on, on people, and we've changed the law so that prosecutions can be brought even where an attack takes place on private property.